having the right video settings is going to be very important for you to play on a consistent level and free to win gunfights and just so many factors and in today's video i will be sharing my video settings that i've been using for a while now and hopefully in this video i'm gonna show you something that's going to boost your fps or something and i'm not really going to be stretching the intro too long so let's just get into the video so the first thing that i want you to do is when you go into your settings you're gonna enable game mode and this is pretty basic like you can just go into windows and type in game mode and you're going to find it and it should be on another thing if you're using something like windows 10 there is a game bar and you want to disable that because just like a steam overlay or nvidia or anything it will take additional resources off your computer so we want as much fps on the game so please do turn that off if you have it so that's one thing the second thing that's gonna get changed is your nvidia control panel settings so i didn't really change anything in the global settings besides could this uh, gpu which are set to all and then usually with all of this it's like application controlled then also the latency can be on ultra max frame rate should be on off and prefer the refresh rate on highest available but then if you go into program settings for siege image scaling should be on and anti-stropic filtering is on 2x monitor technology is just it depends on your gpu as well as your monitor so play a bit around with that but i have it on cheese and compatible refresh rate highest available so for me that's 240 hertz anti-stropic sample is on negative lod bias clamp Texture filtering quality is on performance because this is going to be either performance or quality and you want more performance but if you have like excess FPS if you feel like that then you can put on to quality but if your frames are very low then put on high performance. V-Sync turn it off please I don't know why I have that but and then virtual reality prerendered frames on one so this is basically it for the control panel and now if you experience like lost fps or something like that what you should do is also when you go under siege you have the option here on, on the properties when you are launching the game so first thing you always want to use the vulcan at the beginning it was a bit scuffed so like your crosshair well your scope wasn't as sharp as with on the normal version but like now Vulcan is like very well optimized and everything so it is the best thing to use but if you're experiencing frame drops you can disable the steam overlay but you will have to re-enable it and then also relaunch the game if you want to buy something from the store as well as the nvidia overlay if you're experiencing some fps drops do turn it off if you're using the shadow play feature otherwise instant replay i'm also going to share a couple of like useful settings that you might want to know so when it comes to performance metrics i usually have them off but if i'm using something like the instant replay feature from nvidia it's going to like change it all the time like from off to on or even like advanced metrics general for prep i have it on, on automatic and then we're just gonna go into display because i don't think there's that many important like settings maybe under hood but it should be on normal compass isn't simplified please and then basically everything is on on or on on default for audio i use night mode i figured that my audio is a lot better because the gunshots are more suppressed and footsteps are a bit more audible but the siege audio which is inconsistent a lot of the time and then under the display settings i play on 4b3 
1080p and 240 hertz i do not have an fps limit and neither should you v-sync should be always off and then it's just preference so we have max fov and you got in menu display other graphics the low latency from nvidia should be on and boost overall quality here we're gonna have on custom so texture low filtering on 2x you can also use linear lod so that's the distance this is basically if somebody is like spawn picking you like let's say from master on villa and you spawn ruins you're going to basically see the enemy like a higher level of detail shading is on low shadow quality is on medium you can have it on high and then everything is low or off and then the adaptive render scaling is on zero and the analyzing is off when it comes to controls the sensitivity for me is very high i play on 800 dpi and 1111 raw input should be on but only for this game and then my mouse ads is basically the only things that you should know for me personally i only use the 1.5 and the 1x so that's on 62 and 1.5 is on 100 and for everything else i really don't use at this point mouse scrolling is another feature that i got annoyed by a little bit of time ago and i have it on disabled since in a gunfight i might have like clicked my mouse wheel a little bit and i would switch guns in the middle of the gunfight gadget deployment is not advanced it's the same thing for drones and then here you should have everything on default and then the one thing that i do have changed is for my grenade binds so if i'm throwing a flashbang or a grenade or a c4 or anything like that my mouse 4 isn't pushed to talk but my mouse 5 is for the secondary gadget so as i said any grenade c4 or anything like that this is going to be very good since you want to have control of your movement and then at the same time you're aiming and throwing the grenade with your mouse and i felt like it's more consistent and i'm also more accurate if i'm like nading from below but besides that everything was on default so yeah these are my settings and i do hope that they did help you if you have any questions please do ask do ask in the comments below but with that being said thank you very much for watching this video I hope it did help you. If it did, do leave a like, subscribe. I would very much appreciate that. And if you're curious, you can also follow my socials in the description below. Or they're going to be in pen comment. But as always, good luck in the game.